know. It's been a whole while, and um, yeah, <laughs> it's been a it's been a while. Um, and it's lovely to um finally meet you. So I put out a tweet, I think, a few days ago, asking what tool people find difficult in Figma, and a lot of people um said it's it's pen tool. And today I just wanted to break the pen tool down and how people could use pen tool. But before then, I would suggest a game that you would play to help enhance how your pen tool is or how you use your pen tool. The pen tool in every in every um, graphics or in every design tool is the same thing. Basically, the idea is for you to be able to create points that you move around and create shapes and objects from it. So, for example, here is a Bezier game. And the idea is, if you click here, if you want to create this kind of shape, you just follow through the due process, right? So, there's this one um, where it has, I think, five points or six points or nodes, as they call it here. But there is one where um, it didn't work because I didn't do it well. So the whole idea is to, first of all, you know, create this line. Oh, I created it outwards. So it's to first create this line, right? And, you know, create another one here. Right. So create another one here just to make the curves right and you know this too and yeah here right so that's what the pen tool is i'll be sharing this tool down in the comment so that i'm um, sorry down in the description so that you could check it out if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel yet please do and thank you so much for the mass amount of views in that um, previous um, video. So if you really think about it, the pen tool is just like a wire, right? That connects things together. And that's just my easiest explanation of it. So if let's say I want to create a rectangle, like I said, it's just like a wire, right? I'll click here to start off where the rectangle starts, right? And I will move further down and click on it just to initiate the second point. And I'll scroll down a little bit um, to create a third point and I would make sure I end my points, right? Now, this is a rectangle, but it sees it as a vector. And with this rectangle, you could apply fill, you could apply stroke and increase the width right and you could do a lot of things to it so now you might be asking okay what if i want this to <clears throat> what if i want this to be a little bit of arc right so what i mean by arc is you want it a little bit circular so what you will do is you will press command or control in your keyboard and it will bring up the arc tool and you can quickly just swivel it around and make it the way you want it to you could also you know pull this outwards you know to make a straight more arc or whatsoever way you want it to be, right? And another thing you could do when you're using the pen tool is that you could hold the shift. You could hold the shift key in your keyboard to make it perfect. So this shift key goes 15 degrees every single time you're trying to do it. Sorry, 30 degrees. So, so yeah. the shift tool moves 30 degrees within each other. I'm not sure if it's 30, but I think it is. Yeah. Um, or is it 60? I'm not sure. But anyways, that's just um, what the shift tool is. It's used to make perfect lines within each other, right? So let's now let's go back to the pen tool. If you want to make things, um, you know, curvy, and you want it right, a lot of times what you need to do is once you click on your first point, before you land your second point, you, you just click it and drag. Now, the reason why this is not perfect is because when I wanted to start my with my pen tool, 
I did not start it with. So let's say, for example, you want to create an, a perfect arc or a, a circular object, right? You click on your first section, and then when you move forward, you click on the second section, right? So you can see that this created just a line, right? That's not the right way to do it if you're creating maybe so many shapes, right? The, the right way to do it, before you land your click, you just drag it on your keyboard to create that sense of arcness, right? And let's say you want to create another one that is a little bit more perfect. And before you get to your point, that's just how you really do it, right? But you might say, hey, what if I want to correct a point or make it a little bit more arc? What would I do then? You press Command Enter or Control Enter on your keyboard if you're using Windows, and you click on a specific point from your curve. So these lines determine how curvy or how um, rounded it becomes. So if you want to change this section, you just click on it and adjust it to the sides you want it to. You could increase or decrease this line based on how rounded you want it to be. And you could also move your points to make it balanced, right? So for now, for example, we could make this a little bit more round like this and round like this as well. And you can see that we've been able to create our own points. So I don't want this tutorial to be long. Um, if you're able to use the Bezier game, you will understand the logics and how you could be perfect with pen tool. And the reason why the pen tool here isn't difficult for me is because I already used it when I was um, using Photoshop. I think I learned the pen tool um, in CorelDRAW, but yeah, um, the way to use... So, so what are the use cases of the pen tool, right? What do I need it for? So let's say you have a design. Um, let me go with maybe like a mobile design, right? Let's say you have iPhone 10 Pro Max, right? If you want to create some set of sections from from, from um, your design, let's say we have welcome to iPhone here. And this is, you know, bold or black or whatever. If you want to create some sort of like section within your design that is a little bit arky, you use a pen tool. So now let me do that. So I'll start with a point and in, before I align the second point, I will just drag it and I'll create another point here. So for me to create this perfect, you know, line that I could fill with shade, I'll need to end this point. So in order for you to create a shape with a pen tool, if you start, where you start your shape is where you end it at. So for me, if I want to create a fill within this, I've started from here, didn't need another point here to create the calf section here. I'll then drop another one here and drop another one here and just end the shape here, right? And then to land my shape, I'll press Command Enter or Control Enter my keyboard. And I'll just remove the stroke and fill it with whatsoever my desired shape or design or color is. So then this I could bring to my work and it will make it feel like, you know, it's kind of like a flow in section within our design, right? And just to showcase how this could be useful in my design is I just want to prototype this a little bit. So I've created this duplicate and I will just use the enter in my keyboard to edit the pen tool I have done. Then I'll select these two points or three points at the top and I'll move it above the work, right? So what I'm saying is from the beginning or what I want it to happen is from the beginning, I want it to do like this and I want it to feel like you know water is filling your jaw right or we could we could call we we could just say you know the way where you fill a water in a bottle and that water drips from the bottom to the top 
is what I just want to do with this effect, right? And that's what pen tool is for. And a lot of times in, in other programs, it's used to cut subject out of a photo and things like that. So in order to make this prototype work, I'll go to the prototype section and then, you know, create a point and say, hey, I want this to be on tap. I don't want it to be instant, but smart anime. Uh, I don't want it to ease out. I want it to be um, gentle. Um, so it will just go gently to there. And I don't want it to be in 800 mill millisecond. I want it to be for in 1,500 milliseconds, right? So if I then preview what I've worked on, Um, I'm not sure even if I've given it a flow point, but okay, yeah, I've given it a flow point. Um, this is going to load a little bit, and then we could finalize, you know, the work. So once this loads up, if I click here, you can see that this fills up. So that's the work of the pen tool. Um, is just to create all of this kind of designs and things like that. Um. So I'm going to be coming up with a series very, very soon on UX research and how you could create a, a proper research. My goal is to create a, a case study or something like that, because I think a lot of people have a misconception of what actually case study is or or and, and other things like that. But if you enjoyed this video so far, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to ask more questions or you want to give insights on how the video did, you could... um. You could just comment on the video. Just help me, guys. Comment, subscribe. Um, do have a great day. <laughs> Thank you.